Now, I wasn't planning on doing another auction hunt, but some fans sent me some pics of some trucks that are here at the latest auction, and I just, I had to come and take a look at these. Look at this neat old B model Mac. Oh, just gorgeous. those sticks the brownie was always on the inside nice wood handles that is really cool oh look at those seats just bolted right to the floor oh that is really neat what a cool truck oh i'd love to drive this probably the old duplex one, two, three. <laughs> right on. Little single axle on the back. This would be a great camper puller. Oh, that's cool. Nice and short. Five Dayton's a little single stack a B61. Wow, oh, is that ever nice? Front. I'll check out those external shutters. Right on. That's a beautiful little Mac. I wonder what it's going to go for. All right, well, since we're here, we might as well look at some trucks. Always got my eye out for a 379. I actually bid on one before I bought Little by Little. There was a neat long one with eight inch picket elbows. And it had, it was really worn out. It had probably, forget something like 35,000 hours on it. And I was excited to bid on it and I did. I think my initial bid was like eight grand. I was hoping to grab it for under 20. And then uh, because Ritchie Brothers is global, people can bid from all over the world. And typically you can have up to 30,000 people at the same time bidding. And with this particular one, I got in a bidding war with a guy from Tennessee and he ended up winning it, I think for like 28,000. So gone are the good old days when you go stand in the rain in your rubber boots and uh, beat out the people just standing beside you. That's when you used to be able to get good deals. What do we got here? <laughs> Redwater. Blue Thunder. You're gonna eat lightning and you're gonna crap thunder. Old white GMC, no, it's a Volvo. Volvo GM, okay. I don't see one of these every day. I have seen that stitching pattern before though at, at other trucks in the wreckers. <laughs> Tiny little seat, oh look at that groovy, nasty carpet. <laughs> no, no thanks. I do, I do like this one though. I know you guys are probably getting bored of me climbing in and out of trucks, but I just, I can't get enough of them. And there is one more truck, like I say, that we really need to find in this yard, but well, this one I like. Problem is these big long hood, look at the metallic paint. These big long hood Kennys, they just, they hold their value. Oh, and is that a switch for the Jake? Cool. Oh, 
this is a new one too. It's even got a touch screen deal. Yeah, this one's gonna be way out of my price range. 20,000 hours, million miles. Yeah, sweet. Oh, there's a Mac beside us. Squirrel. Love the dogs up the mirrors. Oh yeah, look how new it is. It's got my favorite environmental liquid. Imitation big stacks. They're just the tips put on over top of five inch pipe. That actually looks like four inch pipe. I've seen bigger pipe on uh, on a Cummins pickup truck. The paint looks awesome in the sun though. Oh, 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 long hood peep. High river. Yeah, I like this. I still think a 379 belongs in the in the collection someday. It's the newer one, you can tell by the door handles. Yeah, it's quite the steering wheel. Yeah, I think if I ever bought a 379, it had the, the stand-up sleeper. As comfortable as that would be on the road to be able to stand up in it, I think I'd pull a Pull a Greg and convert it to a flat top. Ooh, that one's a little rougher. Looks like you put the paint on with a roller. Oh, oh, oh. If you can see that in the camera, but that's uh, that's a pretty rough paint job. Who am I to talk though? I'm not a body man. Oh, but that is. Yikes. I like the chrome headlights. Oh, well, that's interesting. He's got squares on a kind of a, I don't think it's a double J bracket, but I've never seen that before. Usually the squares are mounted right to the grill surround. Oh, that's rough paint. <laughs> Just slap some paint on it and send it to auction. This one might go for under 20. You never know. Now, where's the one we're looking for? It's pretty unique. Huh. Purple Long Hood Kenny, Aerodyne Sleeper. Actually, the guy I bought the, uh, the Peterbilt off of. Now one of these days I gotta gotta put the peat on the road, throw some diesel in it, and we'll we'll run it back out there. Go visit Sean and his dad Eugene. Say thanks for agreeing to sell me his old peat. Well, that's a nice. That's a nice little short hood, 379. Or is it a long? Yeah, it's a long. Little 36 inch bunk. Nice. 
nice. Oh, it's got PTO, I could haul gravel. Oof, smells a little rough in here. Yeah, this would be a good candidate for restoration. She looks well worn. Wilson. I know you. I know you. Stop dreaming, Mark. You don't have four doors. You only got three. You can't get your 379 yet. Oh, well, there's something you don't see every day at the auction. So Cat started making trucks for a while. They've actually stopped making truck engines and stopped, stopped making trucks as well, but I don't think I've ever seen one of these. Interesting handle. Pedals look like something you'd see in a loader. Well, isn't that different? I wonder if that's factory or if someone stole that out of a camper. The same kind of shape of sleeper opening as a as a freight liner. Yeah, it's got a real kind of loader feel to it. Enough buttons for you. Now, if this truck's got a Cummins in it, I'm gonna cry. Yeah, come on. At least it's got a yellow engine. Where did I see someone? Someone posted a vehicle, and they had a Cummins engine, but they painted it yellow try and make it look like a cat that was a new one wow i don't even know what kind of cat motor this is one of their later versions i suspect definitely not a 3406 ah we better we better see if it runs why not oops my hat caught the horn Touch screen. Fancy. Oh, check engine lights on. That's probably one of the reasons it's here. Oh, that's pretty neat. Look at that. Well, some executive probably sat in a conference room and said, well, we make the best engines on the road. Why don't we just start making trucks too? Guess how that turned out for them. <laughs> Double A truck sleeper out of Fort Worth. I wonder if this guy put this on. Maybe it was a day cap and then just painted it up. It doesn't look factory because the factory truck's all rounded and then this got nice square edges on it. So he must have converted it and threw this on there. How's that saying go? Chrome will get you home. Yeah. I think I'll pass. <laughs> Snicker. A little shaker. Ugh. see the one I'm looking for yet. Oh, check that out. I actually saw this being pulled when I was in McMurray a few weeks ago. Moot was dragging this thing. Oh, she's built stout. 
Oh yeah, it must be one of their old trucks. You can see the, the old mammoth on there. Yeah, they were dragging this thing through town. Must have used it up in the uh, in the oil sands for for moving things. Wow, this thing is built. <laughs> Autometer tack. It's not a '71 Nova. familiar oh, they got the, the battery shut off yeah, there you go butterfly hood Tire looks a little low. 385 95 R25s. <laughs> That's quite the tire. Yeah. Bet you this truck's pulled some heavy loads in its day. Where the heck is it? Quigley. <laughs> A little short hood. 79. Okay, it's gotta be around here somewhere. We'll find it. That neat old Ford cab over. Oh no, it's not a Ford, it's a GMC. I stand corrected. Well, isn't this cool? So they'd sit when they're heading out to, to an emergency and then they'd, they'd run everything from here. It's huh. awesome. Firefighters are cool. Oh, it's an automatic, but we'll give it a pass because of the cool factor. Amazing how much it looks like a Ford cab over. Now oh, the front gives it away though. Superior. This truck, has it been lowered? Typically the door sill isn't waist high. I wonder if it's on bag or something? Well, obviously it is in the back. But, uh... Oh my god, it is. <laughs> Look how cool that is. So when you spark it up, you can put air into the front and raise it up, and then it rides on bags in the front. Oh, that is cool. I'd love to bag little by little, but I think those conversion kits are like three, four grand. Looks like it was running in the patch. I guess he bagged the front for comfort and not for looks for going down washboarded Alberta gravel roads. <laughs> Look at that. It's like boot high. That's probably how that happened. That's cool. Well worn seat. Definitely got some miles on it. What did that ever fade? Nice. Here's a neat mid 70s, what, 76? Short box. Oh, it's got a big block in it. What kind of mileage does it get? All of it. Digging the, the Dukes of Hazard. 
paint scheme. Look at that classic stitching. And the dash isn't cracked. Wow, that's gorgeous, gorgeous truck. Power windows and locks. Lovely little short box. I'm more a fan of the fleet size instead of the step size, but <laughs> look at this thing. It's been bounced down a few cut lines. <laughs> Check out the instructions. Okay, you got a primer like an old snowmobile. There's your starter pedal, your choke, and your hand throttle. Starting procedure. When engine is warm, skip two, three, and four. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Oh, look at this. It's got all the, the sticks for the for the transfer case and then probably high-low range. And they painted the gear pattern on there. Oh, reverse is over and up. <laughs> wow. This would be a heck of a hunting buggy, but my God, you need a hell of a winch to pull it out when you bury it in this muskeg. bias plies and they're even studded studded bias plies <laughs> yeah look at these balloon tires and then look at the size of the of the drive shaft <laughs> what is this a little suzuki samurai yeah <laughs> oh that is funny Check out the angle of that drive line. At least he tilted them up. But I mean, come on, look at those Mickey Vos drive shafts with these ridiculous tires. So like 46s. <laughs> he must have needed you a lot. Okay, so I made a special trip here to see this particular truck and it's so special that they don't have it mingling with all the all the regular trucks They've actually got it on display out on the highway so we got to go for a bit of a walk but trust me it's going to be worth it <laughs> any hobs actually that one would almost work it's short. So I'm still trying to figure out how I'm going to get the the stagecoach robbery on the side. I was laughing with my two daughters saying what I'll do is I'll paint both sides white and then just put scaffold there and it'll be their summer projects to paint to each paint one side. <laughs> but actually I was reading someone uh, that did a smoke in the bandit replica trailer. What they did was they got a wrap done so they made a, an image and then had a wrap done and then they just had the wrap applied. I think that's probably going to be the most cost effective and easiest way to do it that'll look the best. Because you can't have a snowman truck without a snowman trailer. <laughs> Told you. This is a 56 Tenworth. I think it's a model 825. And you can just tell that it was someone's pride and joy. Oh, I must have sat in the sun. These look like newer tires. I barely got any miles on them, but they're all cracked. It's been like me and didn't have a shop. I'm willing to bet that's not DEF. He was probably pulling uh, some sort of gravel. Oh, please be open. Oh, yes. Oh, it's even got sticks. Isn't that funny though? He's got the same speedometer as in my peat. He must not have been able to find the original ones. Wow, this is so cool. C825C. Right on. The dash is so small, they needed to put some of the gauges in front of the passenger. Oh, that is so awesome. That was worth the walk. 
Man, oh man, this was somebody's toy for sure. Nice job on the interior. Oh yeah, there's the PTO. <laughs> Old school. <laughs> Uber finer. Oh yeah. Oh, where does this sit? It's just stuff like that. Oh, it looks like the same Cummins I got in uh, the snowman. Yeah, I guess I'm from the top. Oh, it's a 400. Ooh, leaking a little. <laughs> Look at the rat's nest of wiring. It's like that haze. Yeah, obviously not the original engine. They they shoehorned it in here. Oh man, this is ever nice. Look at that grill, crooked Kenworth. You tell older trucks that have the handles up high instead of the paddles that they started putting in in the early 70s. Find one with the door handle up high. It's old. You gotta have protection. Okay. Oh! Starts better than snowman! Wow, what a jam! Bags. I, uh, they didn't have bags back back in those days. Yeah, I recognize this. That's a Peterbilt lead system. Looks very familiar. That's the exact one I got on the Pete. So he must have done a cutoff and then put a 359 somewhere along the way. this truck is and I had four doors and a little extra cash this one will be coming home Bets on what it'll go for? Gentlemen, take a look here. We have an old cabin unit, of course, a reman engine in this uh, good unit. 1956 Denver CC 825, which is bidding pleasure. Here's something that's on. Look at 
60,000, what do you say? Where do you find another one? Wet skin, green man engine, 60,000. Fifty-seven thousand five hundred. 